What's up, YouTube? This is Thomas. Thomas Fishing. I'm back on the lake again, y'all. I'm back. Man, first of all, man, I want to tell y'all, man, I appreciate you. I finally made it to a thousand subscribers. And, uh, man, it's been a, a long little roller coaster trying to get them subscribers up, but I finally did, and it's because of y'all, man. Uh, my goal is to always try to get y'all good hot content and explain myself so y'all can also be able to catch fish as well. Uh, it's supposed to rain today. It's supposed to rain the rest of the week. It rained all night last night. So I'm on the lake. This is the only place I'd rather be right now. Uh, this is my setup. Actually, it's the same one I had from last trip out. This is the uh, orange and chartreuse split tail. I got a, uh, a shot a shot piece of lead on about a foot and I have it on there like that so it'll slide so if I get home I can uh I can take my tip and it'll slide down and boom and bop it I don't tie mine I know some people tie it but I don't I let mine move kind of freely so that's one of the things that y'all can try I do have my hair jig it's ready uh if you haven't already y'all please like comment share and subscribe to my channel it'll be greatly appreciated uh, I had a lot of comments. I tried to respond to every single one. Uh, I appreciate everything y'all were doing. The boat flip is about to happen. Y'all stay tuned. There's one. Let's see if we can get on it. Here we go. There we go. There we go this morning, y'all. We on the board, y'all. White crappie. Here we go. Nice crappie out. All right, here we go. I got one about 12 feet away. Coming in on the backside of him. He see it. Let's see if he get it. Bam, he got it. Oh, that's a slab right there, y'all. Good gracious a lot. Man, that's a slab, y'all. Y'all got to hold on tight. This is a monster. This was a boat flip right here. I ain't even said and it was a boat flip. Good gracious alive. Look at this slab. I don't even know if my camera right. If y'all could see it, that's a slab right there. That fish may weigh two pounds. The only thing I probably don't do much, well, I don't do really at all, is fish with live bait, minerals. I, I just don't have, you know, I just don't fish with them. I ain't saying I won't. Cause if they biting, I fish with whatever. Look like I see two of them behind the boat. See if I can get them to hit it. Look like I got one coming. Let's see. He got it behind the boat. Good gracious, alive! Come on here. That fish was behind me. Y'all check this one out. Beautiful. Man, thank you, God. Man, God, good. All right, I think I had somebody. I think I had somebody ask me about my fishing line. It's whatever you like. I have braid, but I don't really use braid. It's it don't uh, it don't scratch much. Uh, but I use a uh, ten to eight pound test. Uh, I don't see why it's a reason to go higher than that crappie fishing. But that's, I mean, that's just what I use. I ain't saying you can use 20, whatever you like. But I use, uh, I use eight and 10 pounds on mine. You know, I got one coming. Let's see if he get it. But he stopped. It's actually two of them sitting there, a big fish. I see a few boats coming in this morning. That's good. People got fishing on their mind. All right. Get these fish to bite, y'all. There we go. Come on, get it. Come on. Oh, he bagged up. Let's see if your brother won't. Bam, he got it. I had to wait on that bite. He got it, though. He got it. He knocked the mess out of it. See some good crappies. All right, look like I see a few hanging out. 
There may be some other fish in there with them, besides crappie. Let's see. Come on, hit it. It's on you. Come on, you see it? You see it, buddy. That's what I'm talking. Oh, he got off. Both flip didn't happen that time. <laughs> oh, it's all in it. I love it. All right, here we go. He got it. He got it. Yeah, he got it. So I just changed my jig up. I went back to uh, the dirty milk, try it out, and uh, see how that work. Then I go to my uh, hair jig. I'm gonna go to the hair jig anyway. I like using the hair jig. I'm gonna try to see if I can pick him out of there. And he is not moving. He ain't taking a chance on it. Here he come. Let's see if he bite it. He, oh, that's a good one. Good gracious alive. Boat flip him, Tia. There you go. Ooh. I knew that was a big one. That's a big one. I knew that was a big one. Check this big one out. Good gracious alive. That's a big one right there, man. Here he come. Bam! He's a runner, he's a track star. There you go. Ah, get him in here, T. That's what I'm talking about. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hey, he is, y'all. Good fish. All right, here we go. I see another one sitting there. Look like a nice fish. Let me see if I can get it on them. I like it when they sit still like that. Here he come. Here he come. Bam! Whoa! Boat flip them in here, T. Just be careful and boat flip them. There you go. Whoa! I see you, girl. You fine this morning, girl. Look at that. Y'all look at this. Ooh, whoa. Man. Thank you, Jesus, for making this creation. Boat drifted on me a little bit, but I think I'm going to get it lined up. See if I can get him to move. All right, I think I got it on. Let's see what he do. Here he comes. Bam, he got it. There you go, buddy. Boat flip him. Took him forever, but he got it. All right, so I'm gonna try this treetop for a second. I got my hair jig on now. Try to see what this treetop gonna offer. I see a few fish in there. I got one coming. Oh, my line went a lot. I think I still got him. Oh yeah, I still got him. Oh yeah, that's a good one too. Oh, flip that Joker Thomas. There you go. Ooh, that's a good one too. He's thick. I went to my hair jig and picked up a good one. All right, let's see if we can get this one. It's about 15 feet away. He's actually about, that fish about 12 feet deep. See if I can get on it. Look like a good fish. Look like a good one. Here he come. Bam! Oh, woo. that's a monster. Get it. Ah, both flip them, T. 
Ooh, that's a monster right there, y'all. Good gracious alive. That's a monster. Man, y'all look at this crop. Good God Almighty. Look at that mouth on it. That's the mouth of the sow. <laughs> look at that crop. Good gracious alive. Thank you, God. I gotta get it on. I gotta get it on, y'all. I gotta get it on. Come on. Come on. All right, I got it on. Bam! He got it. He wasn't the one I thought he was. He's still a good fish overall. Good gracious, these some big fish. Another good fish. I'm going back in. Here he come. He following it. You ain't want the big boy. Hell, my hopes up high. See another good one. Let's see if I get this one, buddy. Like a good fish right here, y'all. Y'all hold on. Y'all hold on. Here he come. Boom! That's a good one. Flip them, T. Ooh, that's a good one right there. He hit that mug like a submarine. Old missile. This one. Every time, baby. All right. I see one more, man. These some big old fish sitting right here. Let's see if I get this one to bite. Here he come. Here he come. Come on. Here he come. Bam! Got that joker. Mm, go flip that joker. Big old fish. Oh, how much? I've been waiting to do this ever since the weekend. Had to hurt. Had to work the whole weekend, sure. And come get the. Alright, so I turned the transducer behind the boat. And I think I see a few behind the boat. I hate to move my boat and spook them. I'm coming down on one right now. He's coming at it. Bam! He got it. Good gracious alive. Oh flip. Oh flip him too. In the boat. Here we go, y'all. Man, this is every time. So once again, once again, uh, one thirty second ounce jig head, dirty milk. I bit some off. Split shot a foot away. That's all I'm using. Thirteen foot pole. I don't know if this eight pound or ten pound. I can't remember. It's one of. Them. Try it again. I could let my boat drift back a little bit. I see my bait coming down now. I got one coming. Bam! He got it. Good gracious. Oh, woo! Ah! Boat flipping. Good gracious, you lie. This joke is so big, he don't turn pink. Good God of mine. Ooh, look at the slab right here, y'all. Good gracious alive. Man, God good, y'all. Y'all know that? Man. Allow me to come do this, and I can share this with y'all exactly what I'm doing. That's a nice fish. Yes. They're just hanging out in front of it. They ain't really... Just tight in there. There are some in there that's kind of tight, but most of them just hanging out from it. Look like I got one. There you go. 
Took him forever to bite, but he bit it. Good fish, too. I need some good fish. Look at this. That fall coming, y'all. I can't wait till they get that super weight on them. Neither one actually bit it. All right, I'm coming down on one. I see a lot of fish right here. Get one to bite. Bam, there he is. Ooh, that's a nice black crappie. Yes, indeed. Them black crappie be thick. Y'all look at this one. It's a nice black crappie right here. Come on with it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Bam. Got it. That's a slab right here, y'all. Oh, we could. That's a monster crappie right here, y'all. Ah. Won't flip them, Jinko Pole. Good gracious a lot. Lord have mercy. I got to weigh this one. I got to. I got to weigh this one. Man, y'all look at this crappie. That's a big booty crappie right there. Lord have mercy. I'm finna wait. We can sneak up on him. Got one coming. Bam, he got it. Oh, he got off. Mm, 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 mm. He knocked the crap out of it too. Here we go. See if he bite it. Hit it. Bam. He got it. Ooh ah, boat flipping too. Yes, indeed. See if he chase it. See if he want to chase it. See if we can get him. Here he come. See if you get it. Come on, hit it. You see it? You see it? Bam, he got it. Ah, boat flipping, T. Black car. Another black one. All right. Got a lot of shed. Start back running through. And they coming through in pile. But I do see some crocker though. Got one coming. Bam! Ah! I both flipped that black crop in here, Thomas. Little old football. Look at that. He played for the Cowboys. Come on out of there, buddy. Come on. There you go. There you go. Chase that little school down there. Good fish. Look like I got one coming. Bam, he got it. Whoa. Ah, I'm gonna flip him. This one, y'all. Ladder on part of this morning. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hey, yeah. There you go. We won't flip that joke. Yeah. 
Yes, indeed. I know it was some in here earlier. There we go. Oh, yeah. That's a good fish right there, y'all. That's a good one. He don't want to give up. What's up, YouTube? So my morning is finally over. I had a wonderful morning. Uh, had to move around a lot. Had to fight the shad because the shad is all over the lake right now. And uh, that's how it be this time of the year with these fish trying to school up. Uh, I caught four fish to weigh over two and a half pounds. And I actually caught several fish to weigh over two pounds. But I'm going to show y'all these fish that weigh over two and a half pounds in the month of October. And it is unreal how big these crappies are already. I mean, these are monster slabs. And these are the other two that was over two and a half pounds. Had four of them. So, just get out, go fishing. Uh, continue to change your bait. Uh, add scent to a small profile. If you don't have confidence in a small, go with a big profile jig. Uh, it doesn't cost a thing to change the jig. So, if you haven't already, please comment, like, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff to my channel. And remember, the thump is real. What's up, YouTube? So, I'm going uh, to go through the cleaning part of how I fillet my fish. Uh, I use the bubble blade. This is what I like to use. I've been using it for about a year and a half. And I'm going to clean the field for you right quick. Uh, these are the fish that I caught yesterday. I usually like to like my fish to uh, sit on ice so that it'll get hard, and then uh, I drain the water off of it and, uh, and continue from there. I go behind this little fin right here, and I hit the gear. I go all the way down behind that gear, turn my blade, and continue on. I know some people like to let it glide through. I apply a little pressure with it and uh, I put my finger at the base of the tail part where I won't cut it off so I know not to cut that part. I just put my finger right there and I just slide on through and there's that fillet. Flip it over, do the same side, same routine. I just apply a little pressure and get it moving. A little faster. Some people just let it glide, but you know, whatever works. And there's the, the middle section. I'm gonna keep some of these bigger middle sections in some of the rib cages. That's another one. That one went over two and a half pounds. So, same thing going. I hope y'all can see it. Big old fillet. that thing around that tail. This is a monster fillet right here. So what I usually do on the bigger fillets, I take this fillet, I cut the rib cage out, which I'm gonna keep the rib cage out. That's a pretty good size rib cage. And I'm gonna take this part and I'm gonna split it. And I'm gonna get two pieces out of that, that one fillet. So, go to this side. Do the same thing. I got all that meat. Yeah. Do the same thing for this one. Cut this rib cage up. That's that for Now I'm gonna split it. So, and that's the center section of it. There's another two and a half pounds. I had a lot of people ask me about, you know, what's our bag limit in Mississippi. Most of our state parks and things like that, they carry 30. But the one I live in is 20. 
And I do a lot of fishing in Louisiana as well. And they bag limit per person is 50, you know. And people say, man, what you do with all that fish? Well, a lot of the fish, I give a ton of fish away all the time. For the people that follow me on my social media platform, uh, sometimes I go catch fish and I put up a post saying, hey, I'm in the mall parking lot. Y'all bring a cooler. Y'all come get some free crop. It's free. Come get it. Bring me some ice. I do that all the time. And also, last November, uh, during the pandemic, I got some family and friends, man. We got together and we did a crop and plate giveaway. We gave away 220 plates of cropping to my community, uh, and I think that was a great thing that we did. I keep what I can, uh, as far as my limit wise, whatever. Our laws are real, real strict in Mississippi on fishing, so you will get checked and they will check your boat. So y'all keep that in mind about, you know, our bag limit. If y'all come down here and y'all want to fish, y'all just have y'all license, have everything that's your car because uh, they do do a, a thorough inspection on whatever you have. So, that's where we at with the, uh, the Belen. Y'all stay tuned for the cook. What's up YouTube, I'm back. I'm gonna show y'all how I prepare to cook my fish. Uh, first of all, I lay all my fillets out on napkins or paper towels or whatever you have. And I just pat them down so they won't be wet. So they won't mess my meal up or whatever. Uh, I use a little tonus. I don't use too much because in my batter, my batter already have uh, seasoning in it. I just use a little bit on each side. Not too much. Use a little... Uh, A little powdered garlic. Gotta have that powdered garlic. Use a little bit of that, 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 that there. Come and I flip it on each side. See these? Some of those big old fillets, those bigger fillets that I have that I script down. So I won't be just a big old piece of meat. So I found that'd be a good way to do those big pieces. Come back and hit that side. Get it real good. I know it's probably sideways, but hey, I gotta work with what I got. All right, so now I got a, uh, I got a bowl right here I'm gonna share with y'all. It's a Cajun Injector Battle Pro Bowl. What it is, is for my meal. Uh, it got two sides to it. You can put fish on both sides. And it'll uh, it'll batter your fish up for you, so I can put fish on this side right here, and I'm gonna shake it up in a minute. Matter of fact, I'm gonna put all of it on one side. I got some shrimp too. I'm gonna put that on the other side. I so I'll put it on that side like that. I'll close it up. All I would do is just shake it like this. And it'll battle my fish for me. I got some good stuff in here. Music license. One of the main ingredients I use, I'm going to show you. It's one of the main things I use right here, the Zatarain. It got seasoning in it. Plus, I got a few more things I put in there. I can Tell y'all, cause you know my secret. So I'm about to drop this in the grease. Y'all stay tuned. Music licensing. All right, so I'm back. So I'm outside. I uh, most of the time I just cook with my uh, I got a little fish fry that I use on the outside. And this is what I use just about every time. I, I usually run my temperature around 250, 300. I don't do it too fast. I'm just gonna dump my fish. I'm gonna dump my fries. I'm gonna do my shrimp last. And we're gonna go from there. And that's that, that battle bowl I was talking about. I had that bowl probably about, man, a long time, probably 10, 12 years. 
I can't remember if I got it from uh, Sam's or if I got it from uh, a local market here in my town. I can't remember. But it's called, uh, I'll write the description of it. It's, uh, it's a little batter bowl. Nice little deal. Now, uh, now I drop my fries in there. Sorry about that. Drop my fries in there with it. Oh yeah. We gonna roll with that. All right, so they ready to come out. I like mine to look crispy. You hear that noise? Oh yeah, that means it's time to go. Fries too. Oh yeah. Dump it right here on my tray. Dump them fries right there, there on the side of it. Oh yeah. I dropped my shrimp now, it won't take them too long. I did batter them with a little egg. Got that thing golden right there, you heard me? Shrimp won't take too long. All right, so the shrimp done. Jumbo shrimp, y'all check the shrimp out. Dump those. Oh yeah. Music licensing reimagined. All right, guys, I got the finished product. I need the drum roll. What the drum roll is? There you go. Here we go right here. Finished product. Oh, I forgot the Louisiana. What's wrong with me? The Louisiana. Just like that, 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 Oh, yeah. Man, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Hey, once again, we made it to a thousand subscribers. It's because of y'all. And y'all remember, the thump is real.